So that is the audio output, and if I turn up this potentiometer, as soon as there's a signal coming through, you'll see the little green LED. It's really nice and handy to have those. What we're hearing there is the oscillator. Um, if I play around with a filter, you hear that's working. And if I play around with the range, octave range, so we've got an octave range. Bunch of random out of tune pitches. <laughs> right. So we can play around with the filter at this point, but at the end of the day, uh, there are no envelopes being applied here. It's just a constant tone the whole time. of the signal that we've got going on here. So let's see what that sounds like when we start up the sequencer. And when we start it up, we just get clicking, and that's because my envelope is all just set to its minimum values. I need to turn up, say, the sustain. There you go. Now it's running quite fast, and the gate is at its minimum. As I increase the gate length, you'll hear that the sustain is lasting longer. Let's add a little release to it. Rather than use sustain, I like to just use decay and release together. Gives 
some more fine control over the sound with these sliders than it does with a little potentiometer. So that sounds a lot nicer. modulation, make it more subtle. Like that. So that's nice, it's a nice sound. It's a nice little sequence. So now as I turn these up, they will start to have a, a instantaneous effect on the filter cutoff. Like that. And they provide these little accents, you know, they uh Because they are synchronized to the sequ the other, you know, the sequence of number one. So again, you know, we can set little accents like we did before. and we can control what the envelope is doing over here. If I make it longer, it'll last longer than just the step that I've set the gate on.
very cool. Now, if I were to give it a slower attack, now we've got sort of like the effect of a sort of the start of an LFO, really. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn all these down and show you how you can sort of mimic a, a synchronized LFO effect. Uh. So we're using the envelope generator as a sort of a synced LFO to modulate the cutoff. And if I slow it down, it's still synced. Yeah. <laughs> 